Hi guys, welcome back to Max Electronics. And we've got an LED strip, standard LED strip on the table. And if we turn it on, it just turns on as usual. And if we turn it off, it's off. There is no smooth turning on and off. And you know, if you have that as used as your lighting in your room, let's say, when you turn it on, it's just going to be snap on. And when you turn it off, it's going to be snap off. So we will be developing this board which will uh, allow you to fade the LED strip in and out. So it's a lot more pleasant. Let me show you. So in my bedroom at the moment, as you can see, when I turn the light on, it snaps on. And when I turn the light off, it fades out due to the uh, power supply capacitors. So let's have a look at the bench. I've uh, done those boards. They're the ones that's gonna be doing the fading. So if we connect it to our standard power supply and plug it in, I'm going to turn the lights off. I'll actually leave the lights on. And here we go. So we turn it on, it ramps up, and we turn it off, and it fades out. How smooth is that? No more problem with snap on and snap off. You can also adjust the brightness, uh, adjust the speed of fade. Uh, you can also bypass it. So if, say, there's a little jumper here, if I bypass it, now it's just going to be turning on and of course it's going to be fading just like in my bedroom uh, without it. So uh, let's get to the bench and build this project. But before that, here's a quick word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is the leading manufacturer of high quality multi-layer circuit boards with unbeatable prices. Simply upload the zip file with your project directly to the website, select your preferences, preview your board, select the postage and get an instant quote. Now you're just one click away from getting your project completed. PCBWay also offers range of services such as PCB assembly, CNC milling, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Your project will be manufactured by highly trained professionals with a state-of-the-art equipment and delivered to you in no time, safely packed and vacuum sealed packaging. Prototype the easy way with PCB Way. Quality, integrity, reliability. So let's start uh, with uh schematic those are the circuit boards that pcb way has sent uh, very lovely i'll explain a few details about them there is a little mistake that i did but i've corrected it in the files that are available on patreon so uh, first of all that resistor here uh let me turn it upside down this resistor right here under the chip is no longer there so it's gone it, it wasn't between the um variable resistor and the pin 3 but that's disappeared so that's redundant uh, so you won't see it on the files and the other mistake i did is the u2 which is a voltage regulator right here i made a mistake of not checking the pinouts uh, on the, um, well in the schematic the pinouts are correct but when i uh, linked it to the footprint the footprint was wrong and it was thinking pin 1 is an input pin 3 is an output uh, which was the other way around, pin uh, 1 is an output, pin 3 is an input, so I will have to solder it uh, backwards. Uh, but all, again, on the schematics, it's all done. It's very simple. Uh, it's got um, one eighty tiny 13 Only two pins are used. One is, as you see, a voltage divider here, and that's connected directly to pin 3. And the output is on the pin 2. The rest of the pins are just for ISP programming. It's driving the 2N222 transistor, which is driving the QM6050D uh, MOSFET. Uh, and uh, that's it. A couple of caps. So the caps, you see the multiple places. You can put a large cap or a small cap, depending on how big is your strip. That's for the fade out feature. So it doesn't just turn off, it just fades out. Uh, using a cap, um, indicator LEDs on the input and output, uh, trim pot, so you can adjust the speed. Uh, that's literally just to adjust the speed of the fade-in. And that is it. So programming, uh, there's also a little jumper here, which is, uh, I'm not sure where it is on the schematic. All right, here. So it's just an override. So in this position, uh, that is 
in rectangular shape that's for fading that position just bypasses the chip and just uh, shorts it to the positive which just turns it on so it bypasses all this circuitry now the programming i've done this uh, j not jtag tag connect connector which is in my case where is it right here so if you don't have this one it's it's a really nice connector you literally just plug it into the board very quickly and you program it that's it once it's programmed you just unplug it and it's done and that's the jtag if you don't have that the expensive you can use a cheap one from aliexpress which is just a clamp with six pins and you can just attach it to your header um, i don't know if i have a header nearby but just literally plugs into the header and you can just clip it on the board it's got those spring-loaded contacts there uh, let me zoom in for you so as you can see those spring-loaded contacts there and you just clip it on the board like that and you're ready to program i don't like this one because if the program if it's a large board and the tag connectors in the center then you can't really clip it on that's where the other one again with the spring-loaded contacts uh, right here comes handy so anyway if you don't have neither of those you can just solder the temporary wires in program it and desolder it it's a one-off so let's start assembling i'm gonna start by using a solder paste and attaching all the components to the board So I've applied all the solder paste. I do have the special proper vacuum dispenser, but uh, at the moment it's not hooked up, um, but it will be in future. And I just realized I probably should have taken the white sheet off. This way it would uh, white balance better. So now it's time for component placement. All the SMD components are placed nicely and it's time for through hole components. So I'll start with the smaller ones like a diode and continue on. The board is now soldered and ready to be programmed. So uh, to program, I've uploaded the hex file. So all you need to do is use the AVR dude and uh, put the X for hex file there and put the fuse settings. Plug the tag connect here or whichever way you're programming. Uh, I'm using USB tiny. That's the board ready. So let's program it and see what it does. The board has been programmed uh, through the AVR dude. Again, uh, you can just download uh, the um, file from Patreon. Uh, it's a hex file, so you don't need to do anything else. You don't even need to assemble. Simply just go to AVR dude and load that it's AT Tiny 13, the chip, uh, and flush it with that hex file. Pay attention to the fuses. So you will need to set the uh, low fuse. So low fuse is going to be. 0x6a and the high fuse is going to be uh, what is it uh, 0xff so make sure those fuses are set like that when you're programming so let's have a look um, 
I've got the LED strip ready here, so we're just going to plug it in. Well, let's see if it works first. I'm just going to plug it into the power supply. And see if the LEDs are going to fade. Yep. That works. Uh, that's going to take Connor. All right. I thought it was going to take forever to discharge the caps in the power supply. Uh, let's connect the um, LED strip. And let's see if uh, it's going to fade. So here we go. Yep. Fades in and out as desired. Here it is installed in my bedroom. As you can see, the fade in is nice and smooth. So is the fade out. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot. If you do like this content, don't forget to click, click that subscribe and a bell button. You can also support me financially on Patreon. Uh, that also helps with more projects um, that actually I got a few cool ones coming up. So again, uh, all these files available on Patreon. It's a single sided board, very simple. Um, yeah, that's it. You can replace uh, different components. You don't have to put the LEDs in or connectors. You can just solder directly on board. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. Bye.